Ali, uh, Habib's manager, manager dominance, uh, was on yes. hot, he was on hot boxing with Mike Tyson, and he revealed oh. for, he revealed for the was first. He- Smoking the devil's lettuce? I don't know if he was smoking, but he revealed for the first time that Habib recently turned down $100 million to fight Mayweather in a special rules fight. I think it was special rules where it was like it was boxing for uh, either 10 or 11 rounds and then MMA for one or something along those lines. But he had a $100 million offer and turned it down because he's done fighting. That's incredible. I mean, that, I mean if that doesn't say you, you're going to stick to your guns... And I know Habib, so I believe it 100%. And, and he said you can confirm it with anyone. You know, obviously, Mayweather, he's the manager, first of all. And number two, he said you can ask Mayweather, whoever. I don't think he'd lie about it. Um, and I know Habib, and I know Habib stands by his family, and his mom doesn't want him to fight. But that's pretty crazy. I mean, you got one, you know, his, his rival is the Forbes number one highest paid athlete in the world right now. And then you have Habib turning down $100 million fights. It's pretty crazy right now. Yeah, but, but is it, is it, Mike, as we get older, is it? Like what is it all? Is it all about that? Is that what it's all about? The, it today, all about? yeah, kinda. Why? Why? What, oh, so about a hundred million? That's no, no, it's about? kind of about these special fights, though. I mean, it seems like these are taking over. You know, these 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 dragon yeah. MMA fighters into boxing matches and yeah. doing these yeah. exhibitions and doing these special rules fights. It's it, the circus, what I call the circus kind of thing, which is interesting to me. I'm not I'm not trashing. I think there's some interesting fights to be made that I want to watch. But it seems like that's what's what was becoming. I mean, why is Jake Paul one of the top ten pay per views, and he's never fought a guy that even trains in boxing, more or less a boxer? That's something told. That this is that's a different conversation, which I'm glad to have with you. But when you're talking about with Habib, I don't think that's ridiculous at all. Why? What's a, is a hundred million going to change the quality of his life? What is his quality of life? I think he has a probably a, a very he has a great life. One. He does have I a great think life. Yeah. Life, I don't think you know, the goat or, you know, he's up there with one of the best ever to ever do it. Now, why even put an image of you in a different light just to make, just to even tarnish that at all. And what will that extra hundred million do? Are you taking that with you? What are you doing with that? Okay. You take care of some future, future generations and stuff, give them a, a some uh, lack of motivation to go out there and make it because they got a trust fund. But what are you, we're gonna do with that money when you're dead. Is it gonna change your I'll tell you right now, if I had all the money in the world, if I had a lot more money, I don't think I'm really I still I, I'm still doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm still what am I gonna do? What the fuck am I gonna do? Like what what am I mean, how big of a house do you want? I mean, I understand. Like I that's what I'm saying. Habib's not about that. It's not yeah. about that life. You know, I'm not I'm not I'm not surprised that he turned it down. Like, I'm not surprised that he turned it down. I, I know that's what he would do. That's a decision he would make just from knowing him. Um, I just think it's a testament to him as a person. And and there's not a lot of people that would turn down that kind of money for any reason. And, and I think it shows, you know, I think that's what helps or that's what supports him being one of the greatest fighters of all time is because he did it to be a fighter and he did it for the right reasons. It wasn't like he was money driven. It wasn't like he was fame driven. It wasn't like he had anything other than the fact that he wanted to be the best fighter in the world. That was his number one focus. That's what he aimed for. And that's what he became. And I think that, and this is just a testament to that showing that he didn't even continue negotiations to, cause obviously a boxing match with Floyd would be a tough thing for someone like Habib, you know, who doesn't, you know, it doesn't have the boxing pedigree of someone like obviously Floyd, but still he could have negotiated more. He could have tried to figure something out and done something in some way to try to make it happen. But it was just a quick no. And I think that that just kind of shows his character and it shows why he's the greatest in the world, because, you know, if you can turn down a hundred million dollars, and 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 not even bat an eye about it it shows you're a true fighter and i think that's why he's sitting at the top and and will always be at the top yeah i mean because what you're doing right there is especially in a situation like that with one of the arguably one of the best boxers who ever lived and with a special rules like that is oh you're he's putting a price on your name and you and you and everything you worked for all right it's not just for this fight it's for everything you worked for oh you might not think that but you taun- you will tarnish your legacy. Yeah. You know? It's a shame. I mean, it's not a shame because I think Ben Askren's got a different point of view. But you know, you bring up Ben Askren to the average people out there, except the diehards would be like, yo, man, that guy mangled people. I'm I'm tapping my phone because I hear my girls cr- yelling downstairs. Sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh it's a dad thing. But you know, 
we know, me and myself, and you know how much of a badass he was, uh, you know. But most people know him for just getting that flying knee and getting knocked out by a YouTuber. So it's like, fuck, really? Mm-hmm. You wanna like, 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 dude? They owe me a lot of money right now. My knees are fucked. So it's like, if they're like, yo, you want to go on a boxing ring? I'm like, dude, I don't. I'm not fucking doing that. I, I don't think. Why? I was just showing up just to get paid to possibly get you know the worst to wear. And not to mention, I know that if I'm locked in a room with the same dude. Knees or no knees, I'm I'm the I'm the guy walking out if I had to be like you know what I mean because I know I can still fuck people up, but I'm not gonna put myself in a position where I know it's a losing battle or an uphill battle just to to get some extra ducats there. You know what I mean? Yeah.